Hello everyone, welcome back to another Trackmania track of the day, now in 1440p. And today's track for November 23rd is a Glacial Storm by a Lobster 72. Take a look at what we got. Yeah, that's right. Uh, 1440p now on the recordings. I did a bunch of testing yesterday. And it's just absolutely mind-boggling how much youtube compresses just 1080p compared to 1440p so we're gonna be doing 1440p uploads from now on the video should look far better all right we got some grass and uh, some bobsleigh bobsleigh when's the last time i've seen bobsleigh in a track of the day Especially used in a heavy manner like this. Like sometimes you get like a little piece here and there for a transition or something. But nearly a full bobsleigh track. It has been months probably. So interesting here. I haven't really been playing much bobsleigh at all. Really due to that fact. There's not really a ton. I think there's two tracks in the fall campaign that have a, a small amount of bobsleigh in it. But it's really not their main focus. Actually, I think there's three. So it's not like I have any practice there. Seems fairly straightforward right now. Ooh, that's a little tough actually getting up over there need to be a little more aggressive to the left at that spot but honestly it seems like a, a pretty easy pretty straightforward track right now he says as he crashes into the finish line it's really just about uh, good entrances and exits to these bobsleighs pretty much the whole map we're just gonna take this run and go with it Really not much going on here. This is a fairly easy transition. It's really the last transition that's a little tough. Just gotta go a little harder to the left than you would think. I guess you could probably do some wiggling there. Uh, that's not gonna be a good turn. Actually, saved it a little bit and we're gonna get a decent exit there. We need three and a half seconds for the goal. I guess we were a little bit behind there to start. Didn't feel like three and a half seconds. I know the new bobsleigh is like you're supposed to... Hold 100%, but I think it's been found out that you need to be like around 80. I still have no idea. I still kind of go with the old method. I think it all pretty much works. As long as you're kind of stabilized in this red section, it just works. Seems like it could be a tough gold. See, 100%, I, I, I just don't think that works. You just come out of the, the slide. Since I don't use action keys, it's hard to hold 80% consistently in these. I, I feel like almost just doing nothing works as well. Like, once you're in a good spot, if you just don't touch anything, that's not a good entrance. But still manage to eke it out. Very slow here. Almost so that we might get caught. Did take this last turn not great, so we can get some time here. Not a ton though. Half second. Really, yeah, really not much to this one. We'll see how long I want to play it for.
I just don't really know where the huge time improvements are going to come from. Just going to have to take a lot of these just perfectly, I guess. Pretty good so far. This hard left. Not even that hard. And you want to get pushed back over here. That's going to be pretty good. We're still two seconds behind gold. I can't really say what I'm doing wrong here. That felt pretty clean. About as clean as I could hope to get. Let's watch the GPS again. I don't I don't really know what to do differently. They're holding. I feel like I kinda need action keys for this to get the speed. I'm wiggling a little bit in the corners, but really not that much. It's just going to be near impossible for me to hold a consistent... Like 80% in these corners on, on controller. It was about... 50%. That was too early into that. Probably like the 30 or 40% that was how the bobsleigh was before was easier because I feel like smaller amounts on the controller thumbstick is easier to hold than a higher amount. To a good start though. Ah, oh, that's a lot of wobble right there. Dang. Alright. 30-40% is kind of working still. Except now I'm slower. Maybe we'll try a different cam. Maybe that'll do something for us. I don't know. I, I hate that. I absolutely hate that. <laughs> Too much wobbling going on with the camera. The best entrance. That's uh, okay. Not getting good entrances to that. Maybe earlier? I think so, earlier in that one. I'm gonna get a straighter entrance to this as well. Pretty difficult though with these how these corners are set up. Any extra speed at the start carries through the rest of the track. Any less speed also carries through the rest of the track as well. I don't know, maybe is gold just going to be like impossible without an action key? That would be pretty lame. That was awful, but see what happens. Too early. Good star, but then we're going to go up that corner. 
Still ahead, left, less speed though. I mean, do I want to set up an action key? I don't really know. Action slot one. Yeah, I don't care about the camera switch. Wait, I don't even know how the action keys work. Aren't these like 20% each? So 20, 40, 60, 80. I think there are more slots before. Uh, yeah, it is. Okay. I haven't even, I've never used an action key, so forgive me if I'm terrible at how to use this. That already seemed extremely good in the first corner. And I just turned it way too early there. Gonna be a, a bit of a learning curve. Yeah, I'm, I'm struggling to get out of this turn. It's such an insane boost just because of the action key. I should just hold it down the entire time because I don't know if you ever really need to steer 100% in any of these. But like, get the transitions. Too early. Eh, we managed to hang on though. It wasn't even holding 100% there because I'm still thinking in my brain that I need to hold 80 and it just wasn't, wasn't there. Action key didn't work there. I gotta get the timing right on it. I'm gonna be slow here. You gotta press the action key before turning. Keep doing it after turning. It's pretty obvious, but muscle memory is overriding the new feature. Sucks though that this seems basically necessary. Too early. Good correction. Man, that was slow. Gonna be a little behind here. Yeah, half seconds. So much extra speed though with the action key. I, so much stuff to focus on right now though. Trying to use the action key, trying to maintain these corners. Never having used it, it's pretty tough. So I'm used to just correcting, like once I get here I can correct, and then my, right now my brain is like action key, action key, action key. Instead of actually continuing to correct even though I'm already holding down the action key.
just gonna hold down the action key forever and then just drive like I normally would. So much wobbling though. Right here's the only place I think I need to let go of the action. turns are rough to say the least that's probably the hardest one for some reason action key didn't register there holding like 100% and it was still going 100. Thought I had a good line there. I guess this one you kind of got to manually control because it's not like a standard angle. It's already in right there. So we, I mean, we gotta be like right on our ghost or ahead of it. I, I don't know why the action key is, is not working half the time. Like I look down to see if it's holding at the angle I want it to and sometimes it's just not. Still going to a hundred. It's an alright map, but it's fairly uh, boring, I'd say. I mean, it's really just the same thing over and over again. Get the line perfectly, and that's really all there is to this one. So it's not really the most enjoyable thing to play. Can't say I'll probably be playing this much longer. I don't even care if I don't get gold here. It's kind of just... I don't know, having to use an action key really to have any chance at gold here seems pretty lame. Good start. Wobbling a little too much. Need a good entrance here. Decent. This one I'm not going to use an action key on. I'm not even going to use one on this next one either. And that's going to get us the golds. And honestly, I'm okay with calling this episode here. There's really not much else to do on this one. To be completely honest with you, it's really just going to be the same lap over and over again with micro improvements here or there. 
So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with calling that one there. It's going to be a short episode, but I feel like it would be boring to just keep watching that over and over again. And it's even just a little on the boring side to play. But hey, hopefully the 1440p looks great today. Uh, and yeah, again, uh, this is the last episode for this week. I'm taking Thursday and Friday off, and Saturday and Sunday are my usual day off. So it's going to be a long break for me. I think I need it. Been a little burnt out on Trackmania lately. So I will enjoy the break. I do have a Can I Gold Every Track of the Day video coming out on Saturday, so be sure to watch out for that. But hey, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Check the description to a bunch of links for my social medias and stuff. And be sure to check out all the other Trackmania content on the channel. But that's it for today, and that's it for this week. I will see you guys on Monday for the next Track of the Day.